Hey everybody, this is Eric Smith of Verilodyne LiDAR, and he's going to tell us about Verilodyne LiDAR products at CES 2019. Hey Eric, it's great to meet you, first yeah, of all. Yeah, nice to meet you yeah, as well. Cool, yeah. yeah, thank you. What's thank happening you. here? Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah well, Verilodyne LiDAR, a little background on the company. Uh, well, first, LiDAR. LiDAR is a technology where we're sending out a pulse of light. It's, it's, it's uh, meeting an object, and then it comes back, and then mm -hmm. we're able to calculate the location and distance of the object to give us X, X, Y, and Z coordinates. So we're able to create point clouds. So Bell and I, we have systems that enable you know, massive point clouds in the, in the areas you know, that are used by uh, automotive, uh, industrial, for, for example, uh, um, autonomous forklifts, yeah. you know, many things, mapping. Um, and so Bell and I as a company, uh, when we first developed this technology, Bell, Bell and I was first founded in 1983 by David Hall. David Hall uh, he created the, the, the Velanine Acoustics loudspeakers. Mm -hmm. These loudspeakers were top of the line, best in the world, and the reason was is because he created a, te a technology to be able to measure the, the frequency of the vibration uh, in the loudspeakers and take that vibration out. So you can turn them louder and louder and clearer yeah. and clearer. So these were used in all the nightclubs, all right, the right, concerts. Right. And right. actually, you know, jokes are made that anybody over 40 who's hard of hearing, it's Bell and I right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, so, I remember hearing about that. No yeah. no pun intended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you going to show us uh, what's here? Right. Yeah, yeah so, cool. absolutely. So, but he's always an avid inventor. So in 2004, he participated in the DARPA challenge. Ah. Um, yeah, and, and he decided, you know, he wanted to make an autonomous vehicle. So he tried it with uh, stereo cameras. And stereo cameras didn't work so well, and he thought, you know, there's got to be a better way. And, and LiDAR had been around for a while, so he said, you know, it's, a, it's LiDAR, unfortunately, is only two-dimensional, mm -hmm. you know, it's a single beam, mm -hmm. but what if I combine multiple LiDAR channels, light, LiDARs together, mm -hmm. and, to enable a point cloud? So he created the first LiDAR in the 2000, for the 2005 DARPA challenge, did very, very well, and actually all the organizers said, you know what? Mr. Hall, we do not want you to participate anymore. We'd like you to make these for everybody else. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. so he, therefore, the lighter was, you know, the lighter business was started, and, and uh, he created the first system was the HDL64. That is what Google used for their auton, you know, for their Google car, right? Autonomous I didn't So, that. yeah. So, it's, so it's, it's one of the things we we started. The, we Bell and I started the business. Mm -hmm. We started. We enabled the possibility of do autonomous driving you know, with the lighter sensor. When did the growth happen? When did you? Get funded and all of that. All uh, those yeah, yeah. Experience. We started. You know, it, it, over the years, we had the you know the various sensors doing very well, and then uh, in 2016. Um, actually, Bell and I hasn't needed any funding. We're, we're self, we're, we're, it's organic growth. Nice. It's nice. organic growth. Yeah. Nice. We're, and basically, we're basically the only company that's able to do that, by the way. Right. Because, you know, we're not a company, we're not a company that has PowerPoint presentations. Wow. We have product. Right. You yeah, see what we're doing, you see yeah, all these right, things right. around, we can yeah. put it on your vehicle and you can drive it, you can use it. Hey, speaking of which, what is this behind us? Yeah, this, this is, this is our latest, latest uh, you know, release for the market mm -hmm. here. This is the Velodome. This allows 180 degree coverage. This is absolutely, this is used for for blind spot detection on vehicles. So you can see it right there. Yeah. It looks like something from remember 2001: A Space Odyssey. Yeah, yeah. It's like how? How? Yeah. 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 It doesn't this have a secret other application. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You never know. <laughs> yeah, but what this what this will enable is you know. I don't know if you can catch up there. Yeah, I can see, yeah. The uh -huh. small object, I mean, we can see a soccer ball here within yeah. 10 centimeters uh -huh. of, the, of the sensor, and you can see us there. You know, so... Oh, I see, yes. Yeah, yeah, so this is super, can you imagine, you know, basically we've got... We've so if got, I kick this... Yeah, yeah, so you can see it. Yeah. You can see it moving, it's the, it's the yellow dot at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, yeah. I can see it right there. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I moved it off the yeah. screen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, there, there it goes. You can see it. There it comes. It's coming yeah. back. See that, folks? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. So yeah, Villain is focused on safety. We safety is our number one, and this is the latest you know release to support that. What is this by Velaray? This, this is the Velaray. The Velaray. There, there are two. The, yeah, there are two paths. Um, you have the wide, wide field of view with our 360 degree sensors, which are mounted off in the, you know, on top of the vehicles for robo taxis and this type of thing. And then we have uh, sensors that are for designers that would like to embed them into the vehicle. So basically, this is a directed LiDAR so this sensor. Is that. You this is this, this. exactly. This embedded. can be embedded in the vehicle. Yeah, you embed it in the vehicle behind a windscreen or into the bumper or into the headlights. 
Um, and so it's unobtrusive, it's not seen for passenger owned vehicles. That's the difference, you know, because people that are buying their car, they don't want these things on the roof, you know, often. Yeah, so this is what we had, and it's a, we call it a directed sensor, directed LIDAR, so we have 120 degrees uh, horizontal field of view. Uh, and uh, 35 degrees vertical field of view and embedded in, into the vehicle. Is this something that also could be used by law enforcement? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, they can use it. Yep. Yeah. What's interesting, our sensor, we, we, we address all markets, you know, mm -hmm. uh, vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, industrial, um, and also, for example, um, uh, you know, the speed cameras sure. and intersection monitoring. Right, right. Yes, they're using our LIDARs to be able to get more information on what's happening in that intersection, be able to profile vehicles, you get the get the speed of the vehicles. Oh, yeah, so they use this as well. Wow, wow. Yeah. Uh, take us around. What else is? Uh, yeah, yeah. So you see these right here, yeah. and then uh, I guess we'll be go through. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of pucks. A lot of pucks. Yeah. yeah a puck, an yeah. ultra puck, an alpha puck. Yeah, yeah. And, and the reason it's kind of funny. The, the reason we call it the puck is that the VLP 16, when we released this uh -huh. uh, three years ago. Uh -huh. Um, it's about the size of a hockey puck. Ah, so we got all okay. the puck. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. So everything's a puck now. That's good. <laughs> but looking through the, the lineage like, of Belladine. It's like Don Rickles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I yeah. couldn't resist, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as I was telling you that, that story about David Hall, the first yeah. sensor that we developed was the HDL64. And you may recognize this from that small company that no one knows about named Google. Yeah, yeah. I this, do. Was, right. this was the Google on the Google autonomous vehicle. So, oh, I see. Okay. yeah, way back when, 10 right, years ago, right, yeah? Right, so right. Google used this, but as you see, every, every our lineage here, we get smaller, we get higher resolution, better performance, and better pricing, you know, over time. So it's almost like the, the, the Moore's Law, you know, for, for our ICs, you know? Every 18 months, we're coming out with, with better, better, better product, product, you know? As we go through, you know, we have 30, you know, sensors with 32 channels, higher resolution, 16 to provide options to the market. And when the VLP 16 came out three years ago, this was the sensor that enabled all of these people who have been thinking about doing something with LiDAR to do it. This is the first cost-effective LiDAR sensor. Generally, LiDAR sensors in the past were so expensive, nobody could afford them. We brought this down, you know, to the price point that all of a sudden all these small companies could start playing around, start doing their thing in development. Then they start doing small, a couple of vehicles or a couple of, you know, projects. Mm -hmm. Then they get larger and larger. Oh, and that, this is the sensor that actually changed the market right there. Yeah, and this, this sensor, this puck is, is what's used on for many automotive companies right now for their, for their autonomous vehicles, for their captive fleets and also their robo taxis. And this alpha puck is the latest release as far as high resolution sessions. This 0.1 degree resolution, 300 meter uh, scanning distance, and this is this is the big, big, big for the uh, the robo taxi industry. And this is the yeah, Bell Array. Bell Array. Yeah, over there. Bell Array, of course. Hey, if, uh, keep, looks like you have a big uh, vehicle over there. Yeah, what this is. This is an example of the Bell Array. Sure, an yeah. example of when we, you know, it's installed in the vehicle unobtrusively. We have it behind the screen. Oh, this is what you were talking about. I yeah, exactly. So this is a glass by the company AGC, mm -hmm. and they do. And there it, it is. There's there a Bellaray right, right there. there. Yeah, exactly. I get you. And you see the data from the Bellaray on that one. Oh, okay. And what Here. you're seeing also right there, Doppler, uh -huh. we are able to measure speed with our with our lidar. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's been something that's been, re you know, how can we do that? We, 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 we are able to provide that to our customers now. This that's is a, something. That's a big, that's a big, big advantage for, you know, for our data. Any, any thought of applying this to sport? To what? Sports? Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. we are used often, you know, and, you know, for, for monitoring uh, the, the soccer games, yeah. you know, football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, there's been a couple on our website. I think some of the older press releases they're talking oh, about. Oh, mention that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. But actually, your your viewers should. Go to our website. Look at you know we got a lot of super applications. Hey, what's the website, by the way? Yeah, the what? Pardon me. The, what's the website? The website is velodynelidar.com. Makes sense. Hey, what's yeah. this thing behind me though? That's yeah, the, this is a check super, this out. Look at yeah, that this right is there. Another super example. Bill and I, we're not a PowerPoint presentation company. We mm -hmm. have product that is used, and this is an example of one of our one of our customers with their autonomous <laughs> shuttles. Um, and, and this is the shuttle is being deployed around the world. Yeah, actually, actual, around, uh, this is actually in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's running around. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right. yeah. And uh, this is an example. You know, this is what they're deploying around the world for. You know, company. I think it's a 14 passenger vehicle. Yeah, and uh, using our sensors. You know, for, you know, for, for its guidance. Yeah. Hey, 
Great presentation. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, if you have any questions, get back to me. Yeah. No, it, tell it, your, tell you your viewers, get, get contact us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, sir. All right. Thank you.